Welcome, everybody, as you're looking live at a sold-out arena ready to kick things off tonight. Scores will be settled, bodies will be broken, and dominance will be established. And it all starts right now. I look at this card and my mouth starts. Coming right up is the type of encounter where the best offense is a good defense. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. What better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. champ here tonight champion. despite the fact the title is not on the line here well i'd agree that she'll likely approach tonight with the same zeal of a title match but i also think that tonight is an excellent opportunity to try a few new things especially with the safety net of this being a non-title match Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. She's starting to take a beating, but this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. But it's 
Still early here, guys. It's going to take a whole heck of a lot more than this to keep her down. The head scissors of mine. Oh, oh man, that's just nasty. Having this pay per view here has to be a thrill for these fans. I can tell you when Backlash came to Washington, D.C. in 2000, which wasn't all that far from me at the time, you couldn't go anywhere without hearing somebody talking about WWE coming to town. Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Oh, nasty impact. And that Backlash 2000 card that Byron brought up earlier might have been the most chaotic main event we've ever seen between The Rock and Triple H. And in the end, it was The Rock defeating the game for the WWE Championship, despite Mr. McMahon stacking the deck against The Rock in a major way, including naming Shane McMahon as the special guest referee. She has some reason to be concerned here. This really has been an amazing pay-per-view up to this point, which really shouldn't surprise anybody, especially given how stacked the card is. So much damage inflicted. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. The excitement level is incredibly high, as Corey was saying, and it's been that way since well before the doors even opened. Earlier this afternoon, WWE.com cameras caught the scene as thousands of fans were outside the arena just waiting to get inside. That really was a great video, Michael. It was like a mass of humanity just waiting for the doors to open so they could spill into their seats. I gotta say, those guys at WWE.com do a great job. They don't miss a thing. Boom! Face first! No reverses it. We're looking at complete domination here. She is on fire. At the risk of sounding like a fanboy, guys, I couldn't be more excited about this pay-per-view. I mean, from top to bottom, we have one exciting match after another. She's starting to feel the pressure. Momentum clearly not on her side right now, fellas. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight. And now she's paying for it. And for her sake, you just hope this isn't the beginning of the end for her. Especially considering it's been such a tightly fought contest up to this point. You're absolutely right, Byron. This is without a doubt one of the most stacked pay-per-view cards we've had in recent memory. I'd say it's reminiscent of No Mercy in 2007. Uh-oh. This singles match is over. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. And last but not least... Here is your winner, Angelina Love. And that's the win to start off the night. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. In just moments, ladies and gentlemen, we will have competitors locked inside steel. Don't go away. We have one of our breakout talents taking on some tough competition. Strategy in the cage is always important. We'll see who attacks and who tries to escape here.
making his way to the ring from Mexico, weighing in at 161 pounds, Flash Mitt Tain. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. From Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Ring of Honor Television Champion, the Dragon Lee. One on one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet. This will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one, mano-a-mano. Targeting the back, very effective. one guy anytime a wwe pay-per-view rolls into town you can bet it will be the hottest ticket around oh, continuing to punish them with precision corey mentioned earlier that the sold out signs went up fairly quickly for this one or as WWE Hall of Famer Gorilla Monsoon might have said, the SRO signs went out early for this one. Oh, man. I don't know if there was an announced pairing more entertaining than Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan. True legends. Nailed it. you got to believe this one's over. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Guys, we've come a long way since the first ever WWE pay-per-view, which was actually the Wrestling Classic in November of 1985. I know a lot of people usually point to WrestleMania 1 as the first WWE pay-per-view, but that was actually broadcast over closed-circuit TV, not pay-per-view. What a stop! Good grief! Byron digging into his encyclopedic mind to earlier to pull out that amazing fact of the first WWE pay-per-view. As he said, it was the wrestling classic in the feature of a 16-man tournament, which was ultimately won by the Junkyard Dog. We'll give credit where credit's due. That's some impressive knowledge dropping by Saxton right there, especially considering he was like four years old when the classic was held. There's been a lot of great moments on pay-per-view over the years. 
And for me, one of my favorites was watching Kurt Angle's debut match at the 1999 Survivor Series. All my buddies and I gathered around the TV cheering on the hometown boy, Kurt Angle. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh boy, he is rolling. Looks like he's starting to tire. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this. And what I've learned so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no good in him. Back to Kurt Angle's WWE debut. We should note that he defeated Sean Stasiak that night using his patented Angle Slam. And from there, the rest is history. Speaking of history, longtime WWE, the end may be near. That should do it. Escapes trouble there. Sunset flip! These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their incoming. Slam. Look out, look out. This could be it. Beautiful technique. Oh, it's over. Just some great execution right there. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Boom. <laughs> What a strike! There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Boom, impact! Harsh impact. When this guy's on, look out. What a brutal beating we've seen gifted out so far here tonight. At what point do those thoughts creep in of what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I, I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Here is your winner, the Dragon Lee. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by one of the best talents on the roster to date. In a match for the record books. Big time matchup.
the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 386 pounds, Jay Lee Bell and Jonathan Gray Shaw. Sounds to me, guys, like this crowd is ready to get this night started. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. Champ better bring his A game here tonight. You can bet he did, Michael. You don't get to this spot he's in without bringing your best each and every time, regardless of whether the title's on the line. as we get this tag team match started. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. You know, even though the title is not on the line, this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. This might be it. Oh, my. Features clean off your face. Ooh, what impact. He's looking at it. Is he done? on his phone checking his social media feed. How about you and I finish calling the action here? This has been a heck of a match so far. Wouldn't you agree? It really has, Michael. Like those on social media are apparently saying, this might just be the most exciting WWE pay-per-view of the calendar year.
slammed down hard. That'll hinder your modeling career. He might have it. There's no way he's giving up now. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Vertical suplex. Nice. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Catch suplex. I gotta say, I don't remember the last time I heard a more passionate crowd than the one we have here tonight. They are clearly fired up to have this pay-per-view in their arena. Here he goes. He's definitely starting to lose it here. In addition to this crowd being incredibly passionate here tonight, so are our fans watching at home. In fact, it's because of them I've learned that this match is currently the number one trend worldwide on social media. That's pretty amazing, Cole. Just goes to show that... Oh, Riley set it up! Uh -oh. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. He slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Watching this match, I can't help but think how much pay-per-views have grown over the years. I mean, remember the ones back in the 1980s, which were great, don't get me wrong. Now, they've really grown into such a major spectacle. He's starting to stumble here. Headed into this match, he and his partner looked extremely confident. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this wow. team on his back, which really isn't necessary, considering he has a very capable partner he can tag in. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. What you were saying before, Byron, was spot on. WWE pay-per-views today really take over the entire city, and people travel from all over the world just to say they were a part of a WWE pay-per-view. Yeah, I actually met fans from three different countries during breakfast earlier today. All of them were here in town specifically for this WWE pay-per-view. Here we are, guys, more than three decades after the WWE helped revolutionize pay-per-view television, and we're still going strong. Only now, unlike back then, the best way to catch a WWE pay-per-view is on the WWE Network. Well, Nelson, Dragon Suplex. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. I'd have to agree with you, Michael. The best place to watch pay-per-views is on the WWE Network, which, as you know, also features thousands of hours of programming, including one of my personal favorites, Legends House. Hey, you know what? If you do a reality show with us, that would be great. Sitting next to you each week is more than enough, Saxton. There's not enough money on the planet Earth to get me to live in a house with you. Forget it. Tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Guys, there's something special about competing on it. Finger four leg lock. No choice but the tap. That was simple. Figure four. Cinched in. This could be it. What's he going to do now? And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Using his elbow as a weapon. Big flying form. I do with your little quote, Michael. There's nothing like the bright lights of a WWE pay-per-view. But there's also nothing like the pressure of competing on a WWE pay-per-view. A loss here could set you back quite a bit. Yeah, but a win. Now, uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh, can he finish the job? We've seen that move in many matches. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. He's making a statement here, with him, but he's got to capitalize now. Looking for the exclamation point. This might be it. Oh my! Got every ounce of that one. This could be a double X handle smash. job 
escaping, trying to turn this thing around. How much more punishment needs to be dipped out? Just finish it! This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. He has got to fight back. I don't know. I don't think he truly understood just how dangerous his opposition was. Into this. Shoulders on the back. One! Molly pops the shoulder up. Yeah, that's early. No chance. wearing down the opponent. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Kyle O'Reilly's chances just went from bad to worse. Oh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free Cole, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Double underhook suplex. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Oh, that was a vicious shot. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Oh boy, he is warm. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's going for it all. Big move coming. Wait for it. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Delivering the shit breaker. What's he going to do with it? This is his opportunity to win this thing. I can't believe everything that's trans... A win like that says a lot about a duo. That match deserves another look. Here we go. He's getting it done here. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here are your winners, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Era. Another exciting tag team match in the books. I can't say that I'm all that surprised about the outcome. When it's your night, it's your night. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Up next, we have singles action. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. is the larger and the more experienced member of the War Raiders, trained by the, the great killer, Kowalski. Alongside Rowe, deceptively agile and fast for a man of his size, member of a tag team that has run roughshod all over NXT and beyond. And his 
his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxon. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. These competitors are squaring off, looking to outmatch each other. It's going to be a tall task for one of these two. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Oh, what a forearm. You gotta believe this one's over. alone is worth the price of this look at this hands it with the easy kick out not yet too early now the old vicious head crank look at the torque oh my goodness this hurts oh Ooh, what impact I think a lot of people share Corey's earlier sentiment. This match is undoubtedly one of the highlights of this pay-per-view, which Byron is stacked with a series of amazing matches. Yeah, we get to sit here and call all of them? Sometimes I have to pinch myself. I still can't believe how lucky we are. Bullseye! Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Years later, I still get goosebumps when I watch a WWE pay-per-view. It takes me back to when I was a kid. My friends would come over to watch WrestleMania or SummerSlam. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, he's able to reverse it. Larian. Looking around this arena tonight, there appear to be plenty of youngsters in attendance who will undoubtedly look back at this night with great fun, as much like Byron did when he won. He's going for the pin. Mark with the easy kick out. Nah, not yet. Too early. He has the ability to turn it on in a heartbeat. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, that's the impact. He's really looking to prove a point here. Boom, right across the small of the back. Boom. He's lining him up. He's looking at it. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Hands 
Anderson into the cover. What a way to win a singles match. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Here is your winner, Hanson. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. If that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. The championship is up for grabs coming up next against an imposing adversary. contest is a false count anywhere match and it's for the action championship for a Mizzy this year. Really? That's right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have a Miz. He became a star because he earned his way and he earned the respect of the WWE Universe. Weighing in at 
210 pounds, he is the action champion, Daniel Bryan. Plant your butts in those seats and get ready. The Miz proclaims to be the most must-see WWE superstar of all time. Well, the awesome one is going to have his chance to prove that right now. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two oh. bozos interrupting me. Ooh, what impact. Gonna be woozy after that impact. Ooh, the challenger's taking on some offense. Ooh. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. Man. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. We seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Oh, what a right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. The challenger not in a great place. Man. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. Some damage has been dished out, but certainly not enough to assume this one's even close to being over. I gotta say, when I saw this week's power rankings, I thought there was a misprint. There's no way this superstar deserves such a favorable ranking. Here he goes. Drop from above. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh boy, he is rolling. Max Handel finds the mark. The champ on the defensive now. This match is clearly taking its toll on the champ. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. Up and down. What a slam. Oh, he's able to reverse it. He's playing with him now. The yes lock is in. Wow. The yes lock is in. Unreal. Oh, it's locked in. The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. The champion retains. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look.
Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. The phenomenal AJ Styles. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE. Since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker, Phenomenal. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Phenomenal, AJ AJ Styles has constantly proven that he is a mastermind of offensive innovation, and it has taken him to the championship promised land on multiple occasions. Big stage, big fight. AJ Styles is ready. Styles is going up. 
I think AJ Styles is done playing. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to. And that was only a one. AJ always makes the South proud, and tonight is no exception. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Uh-oh, here comes a phenomenal one. Styles, Styles goes through. Working on the leg. This is all but over. But now, can AJ Styles capitalize? Ooh. I knew it was only a matter of time. AJ Styles is rolling now. This could stop AJ Styles for a while. It might, but it probably won't. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional approach tonight, which includes spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That might help him in the long run. We'll see. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. I think AJ Styles is done playing. Pops him up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my God, he's in position. Styles clash. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Look, talk about dismantling your opponent. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. Oh, my. I got to say, when I saw this week's power rankings, I thought there was a misprint. There's no way this superstar deserves such a favorable ranking. Oshi Garoshi. This one's over, guys. Hook them. What a scary drop. Here it comes. He's got him. Uh-oh. Picked out of midair. Styles clash. Here's his moment, Michael. That is exactly what AJ Styles needed. Bringing it back into the ring. Whoa. Beautiful technique. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Big time slam. Vicious. AJ Styles into the cover. Too close for cover. Like a writhing sun, Shinsuke somehow got the shoulder up. He's making a statement here with this attack. Slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. That might have done it, Cole. Brutal knee right to the face. Nakamura. Kinshasa. If that doesn't... Here's the cover for the win. This was not over yet. Going to take more than that. He's getting after it while he has the energy. Smart move. There it is. Did you hear that crack? The shoulders are down. One, two. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. And the match continues. Knee drop. That was nasty. 
just is so precise. AJ Styles looks like he's really struggling under pressure. He started this match in great health, but now it seems us wearing down the opponent. But can he follow up here? AJ Styles did it! I can't believe it! Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. Here is your winner, the AJ Styles! Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. following contest is a false count anywhere match and it's for the ring of honor world championship up and coming superstar here in wwe but a man who's made his name The day he arrived in WWE amidst a great deal of hype and fanfare. Had his career derailed by some injuries, but every night looks to prove that he belongs and has earned his legendary status in Japan. Deo Tommy's mission statement has revolved around one word, and that word is respect. And Hideo Otami is willing to do whatever it takes to earn the respect of the rest of the WWE roster. Well, Byron, if you're talking about respect, at least you could pronounce the man's name right. It's not a Tommy. Oh, yeah, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have gotten lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck.
Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 180 pounds, Hideo Atami. Introducing the champion from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 226 pounds. He is the Ring of Honor World Champion, Rush. the bell and here we go this is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say this is what wwe is all about matches like this oh, rarely end inside the ring which is what makes them so unpredictable Things not looking good for Hideo Itami. He stepped into this match as the number one contender in his division, and he is not afraid of a good fight. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. The champion into the cover! And a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. And we continue. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Boom! <laughs> But he's got to capitalize now. Hideo Itami's in trouble. There's one. He does. This the oh. Hideo Itami is being shown the ropes here tonight, folks. What can he do to get out of this? The number one contender is close to letting this one get out. The corner's down. When this guy's on, look out. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. Remarkable. Boom! Whoa, Hideo Tommy dodged that one. Oh, and it's a reversal. The Challenger's championship dreams are fading quickly. The champ seems to have his number here tonight. Keep in mind, guys, there's no safe haven for him in this Falls Count Anywhere match. He can lose this match outside the ring just as easily as he can inside of it. 
at this point, he has to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get back in this thing? There it is. That is a game changer. There is no the champion into the cover. What is keeping this competitor going? He just powered out there, Cole. Back now inside the ring. His shoulders are down. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow. That's pure power, guys. That looks good for the champ here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. Whoa, Hideo Itami dodged that one. Out of the back of the neck. Just a nasty headbutt. Oh, destroy your face. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, man, what a strike. Oh, what a fall. That was dirty. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, right to the face. The face destroyed. Gets out of the way of that one. He's calling for it. Uh oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Oh, the driver spiked him. The champ needs to hurry here. The champion into the cover. The champion is victorious. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Oh, I can't believe this. Here is your winner, and still, Ring of Honor World Champion, Rush. Big win here to start the show. And if that match is any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.